Welcome to another Sith List Reaction episode. I'm Mirage. That's Randy. Secret Invasion, Episode 4, Beloved, is on the list tonight. How you doing, Randy? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to watch this. I'm excited to watch this, too, because every episode's been getting better, Randy. I know you were down and out on the first three, but you know what? I think the fourth one's the winner, buddy. I think this is going to be the winner for you, Randy. So you, what you're saying is I've been down on every episode that's come out so far. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. So YouTube, okay. please comment, like, and subscribe, especially if you want to give Randy some crap about not liking the show. But I have a feeling Randy's going to really like this episode. I'm a glass half full kind of guy, you know, so I think it's going to be a good one. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling it. Last week was better than the week before. The week before was better than the first one. So I'm pumped up about Mendo, and I'm pumped up about yeah. Sam Jackson's chemistry, a little lethal weapon action going there. So I think... Mm -hmm. um, I think it's all good. Guys, we did the Ahsoka trailer that just came out today. That was fantastic. So uh, if you get a chance, check it out on our channel. But um, I think we should just jump in, Randy. I know you're very pumped up about this. Yeah, I'm very pumped up. Uh, I'm, I'm still pumped up. I'm just, you know. Yeah. No. Episodes haven't been right. amazing yet. But here's the thing. Upward. There's nothing but upward here. I have a feeling this one's going to be good. It's going to be really good. So here we go, guys. Episode four, right. Secret Invasion. Let's go. There you go. Knew she wasn't dead. Oh. She's a super scroll. Ah, oh, she super scrolled herself. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Mother of Dragons. Perry. Perry. Oh, okay. Here we go. 2012. So this is like heyday Nick Fury. Yeah, this is a straight Avengers Nick Fury. Yep. As I was watching all the news coverage of those guys' heroics over in the States, uh -huh. the strangest thing, I kept having this feeling that someone I know had something to do with getting them all together. Hmm. And what if it was someone you know? He has a powerful sense of righteousness. Good book. It's a collection of poems. Raymond Carver. You familiar? Nah, more of a history guy myself. But they pack a punch. Do you have a favorite? It's called Late Fragment. Hmm. How's it go? Actually, it's a conversation. And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so? I did. And what did you want? To call myself beloved. To feel myself beloved. Now you're going to stab him in the back. That's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, the scrolls just take, they become humans in every single way, you know? Yeah. They have faith, they go to church. Yeah. Unless it's a scroll church. Unless it's a scroll church. It looks like it might be a scroll church. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, here we go. Yep. Oh, yeah, Dude, it's a scroll church. I, I think that's what's going to happen, buddy. Uh, we know that's a scroll. Come on. Ah. Uh. That wasn't Rody. Fury was fired a couple of days ago. Fired? How'd that happen? President Ritson must have found out he was in Moscow. <laughs> I don't understand. If it was you, if it was Gravik, then why does he need me? What Gravik needs, what Gravik doesn't need, that's none of your concern. Oh. I'm the one telling you to kill Fury. Oh, what? Look, I'll make it easy for you. One of the two occupants of that lovely country manor of yours is catching Ooh, he's on you. He's broken. He's been broken ever since he came back from the blip. So this new one, he'll be dead from exhaustion and defeat soon enough. We don't need to kill him. You keep telling me what you're not gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I am gonna do. Damn. Now you enjoy this concert. 
He thinks that's a concert. <laughs> Obviously, he's never been to a concert. He's never been to. He's never been to Burning Man. First, yeah, no never been to Coachella. What's that? Take a look around, G. There's a reason Gaia isn't here with us. She's the mole. I've already taken care of her. Ah, so you think, so, buddy? Hey, no one knows what the I heck's going on. I think it's the Russians. Make it big, loud, like the Russians would. So she jumped in there right before that situation happened because she knew something was going down, obviously. Yeah, I think she yeah. did that right before she left. I should never, ever have forced you into this, and I am so sorry. And I don't need your sorrow or your pity for anything I did of my own free will. Get it, Khaleesi. <laughs> the reason I'm with you now is because... With you, Dad. Huh. It's the only answer to the question of where I belong. The only thing that I need... Look how happy he is. <laughs> ...is a plan. What is your plan for finding our people a home? First, we take down the insurgency. You, me, Fury. Once that's done, we go to the president. Give me a little something in return. And wait and see what can happen next. And I believe. I think you need a PowerPoint I also. Secure. We just have to keep showing them who we are. It's too much faith in us, buddy. You were delusional. Yeah. Yeah. Way too much faith That's in us. We are. And that is not who I've become. I mean, I, I like I'm not even sure if he's been like living here. I don't <laughs> yeah. know where this blind faith has come from. Yeah, he really has way too much faith. Gaia. The human race. Didn't think you'd be home until later. Surprise. <laughs> uh oh. Sure, He's about the true lizer. <laughs> yeah. You think Fury's gonna kill her? I don't think so, no. You Ignored every signal in my head, heart, and body that screamed, Stop! Even now, as I sit here knowing you plan to kill me with that pistol of yours. Oh. Would you tell me the story about how you chose her? Dr. Priscilla Davis had a congenital heart defect. She was keeping it a secret. One day the doctor came in and told me that it would be just a matter of hours. You asked if you could assume her life. I asked if she wanted to fall in love. That I would never hurt you. Mm. And did you get what you wanted from this life, even so? I did. And what did you want? To call myself beloved. To feel. Myself, beloved, on the earth. Damn, dude. I did not think that was going to go down like that. Yeah. What? I'm not sure if this means we should get divorced. They'll be coming for you. I'm a big girl. I could take care of myself. Wait a minute, though. Would you have loved me if I'd never changed? If I'd been my true self? Nah. Yes. He didn't even answer. Take it easy. <laughs> Guess we'll never know. Oh. Oh. You know, what's interesting is that did they both know they were going to miss there on Bluff. Like, what if one of them did it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really understand the theatrics of that gesture. Yeah. Yeah. Because what were they shooting for? Right. Were they trying to make it seem as if to a third party they were killing each other? Yeah, I didn't get that one. Oh. 
Yeah, if we want to do. Yeah, but how long has he been? That's the thing. And is the Don Cheeto? Oh, it's probably not. It probably hasn't been that long. I don't think. Okay. Fury, what the hell? You mind telling me what the hell you're doing in here? It probably happened around the blip. I didn't like the way after the blip was over. The other day. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, for real though. You know, my brothers gotta stick together. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you thought you'd demonstrate that by breaking and entering? Happy Van Winkle. I figured we could settle our beef like, you know, proper gentlemen. <laughs> Happy. Happy. You did yourself on this one. Should I be worried about poison? Poison? No. Well, the nanotractors. Nanotractors. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should pour this out and make myself a fresh one. You do whatever makes you feel comfortable. You want to tell me the real reason you're here? Can't get nothing by you, huh? <laughs> He's playing cool. Aside from really wanting to squash this beat between us, mm -hmm. there are scrolls inside the U.S. government. Wow. Really? How close? As close as you and I are right now. Uh, closer. That's a wild story. Ain't it now? All you got to do to keep my mouth shut about all this, give me my job back. You mind if I make a counter? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Don't ever let him go to the. You never let anyone grab anything out of anywhere. You see this, all right? Uh oh. Oof, that's bad. And that's you. You and I both know that's graphic. <laughs> Come on. But I can't have you running around spouting wild conspiracies, and I certainly can't have you breaking into my hotel suite threatening me. Now, tell you what, why don't you hobble your ancient ass on out of here before I have you defenestrated? Oh. Well, he knows it's on him right there. Well, he knows it's on him either way, but... President choked him out yet. Right. Liquid location tracker. Oh. Bad idea. Hmm. Very smart. Straight to his liver. Yep. Following that for a while, right? Damn, Air Force One. Give me a mint, yes, sir. Get the door. What a dick! Get the door. Kick at your own goddamn door. <laughs> what an ass. Get the door. Come on. That's a roadie. Wouldn't do that. No, ro ro he's so he's so anti roadie. Yeah, like it's screaming. I'm not roadie. You know. Tony Stark is rolling right now in his grave. Oh, yeah, he would not be happy. Yeah, yeah. Brody better be hanging out at that camp, tied up to one of those computers. He better be all right, is my point. Yeah, exactly. Bataku. Oh, no. We're going to see some. Super scroll shenanigans going on right now. Confirm! Citadel's alive! Citadel's alive. You know what would be really crazy if Gerard Butler came out right now? Like, <laughs> the president has fallen? That would be... Right, I would yeah. Love, I would really... You want to see a reaction? He lives <laughs> for this stuff. Yeah, this is his jam right here. Oh. Damn, dude. Oh. Hmm. That was a good shot right there. Ooh, that's a good shot for pilot. Oh. I gotta give it up to that stunt guy who just fell they taking that shot. Kills on. Yeah, that was a good, to be a kill that was a good fall. I'm sorry, that seems like suicide. Yeah, that is not smart. He's still a Citadel. 
Citadel's in trouble. Citadel's sleeping. You can fire at him. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh, these guys are all red shirts, man. That sucks. <laughs> they are. Out. I got this. Stand back, man. That guy needs to go. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh no! Talos is still trying to save the president, man. All right, good man, good man. There we go. Oh no, he's... He can't go, dude. He kind of can, though. Oh, that would suck. I don't want to see that happen. I think that's eventually happening in the show. Oh. Oh, he's going to be gone. And he... Oh, this is not good. I don't think he's dying here, though. There you go. There you go. He's like, no, I'd rather be down there. There's a lot of bullets yeah, flying no, no, around no. I was actually pretty safe right there. <laughs> right. Get some cover. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Put him down. No. Oh. No. Oh no. Oh, this is just crap. Shoot. Is this going to leave him there? This is garbage. Okay, so Mendo's gone, evidently. Mm. Tal Talos is killed. You called it. Um, is he really dead? We don't know. I think this one might be a little bit more permanent than the last that we got last episode. Um, what did you think about the episode? Um, I liked it. I, I like that they closed, or at least brought some of like the threads. To some kind of clothes with Rhodey, his wife, um, potentially Talos, and then them kind of actually doing something. Uh, the uh, scroll terrorist group trying right. to kidnap the president. Feeling, I, I, yeah, I liked it. That some stuff happened. I, I wish there was like a little bit more build up. Overall, these things just kind of happened. Um, yeah, like with yeah. his wife, it, like that they had this really cool like. Uh, bookend with the uh carver poem and yeah, it didn't feel cool. like they really earned that moment because they just showed it at the beginning of the episode and then five yeah. minutes later you got to remember that poem and, like that's something you kind of want to save and like build like a relationship with before you use it but yeah um yeah it, it was it was a an action-packed episode yeah it was it was I, we, the action sequences were pretty pretty great man there's a couple of great shots in there and uh, I, I like the dialogue between and the the uh, the scenes between his wife and him. I thought they were done really well. And mm -hmm. also, Samuel Jack. What's cool about this Nick Fury is he's not as strict and he's not as badass like verbally. You know, he was always very like in your face. Here he's like he lets his guard down a little bit, has a little bit of fun with with his character. And I like the writing. Mm -hmm. I like for him specifically. And in this episode, the conversation he had with with Rhodey was really cool. Um, right. Yeah. yeah I, I wonder. No, oh, go ahead. I, no, I wonder if the character would have been more like this had time. Because, I mean, the big thing with Fury is he had to be big, especially considering the amount of time he could have on the screen. He couldn't have that much time to yeah. develop a character. I wonder if this would have been the character or 
this is very much like the post uh like blip character that they decided to make after the fact how has he in the comics is he more like what we know fury to be like pretty hard yeah. ass oh, okay yeah very much yeah. so okay well i uh definitely like this this is my favorite episode so far so which is a great sign um and let's see where this goes it sucks if we lose mendelssohn Hopefully they can inject some super scroll, put him in a, well, they can't. He's not, she's not even in there anymore. Ah, oh, I think you're right, buddy. I think we've seen the last of Talos here. If he didn't have that conversation with his daughter earlier in the episode, I would say now we're going to see him again, but they kind of gave him some closure. Oh, they gave him what he wanted to hear. And that, that's never a good idea. For that's a never a good idea for that a show. Means, no, that means, right. That's it. Oh man. Well, guys, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you thought about this episode. And we're going to be here for the rest of the season. And we'd love to have you uh, ride along with us. And after that, we're hitting up Ahsoka. And after that, hopefully hitting up the boys and all kinds of cool stuff. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us. And we'll catch you next week right here for episode number five of Secret Invasion. Right here on The Sith List. <laughs>